sometimes life is a beach. And when things get you down, a beach is a great place to clear your head, especially if you throw a motorbike between your legs. Winston Churchill struggled with depression, he called it his black dog. And an Australian guy called John Skinner has a black dog called Scrambles. In 2008 he rode across Australia with his black dog and since then has been raising money and awareness of depression through the black dog rides. Many of us will struggle with depression or anxiety at some point in life. And I don't mean fretting or crying just because you scratched your new bike. I mean serious conditions that can really fuck your life up. me, I'm one of the lucky ones. A very low IQ has given me a mindless optimism, so I have rarely struggled with depression. But I've had quite a few good mates who battle long and hard with the black dog. And we talk a lot when the dog has them by the neck and is trying to choke the life out of them. Some people would say these guys are weak or just need to snap out of it. These people are either dickheads or they have never dealt with serious depression or anxiety issues before. I have an immense respect for these guys who keep soldiering on when there seems to be no point and it's a privilege if they open up to me about it. They tell me about how it can get so bad and go for so long that suicide just makes more and more sense. I ask them what eventually pulls them out of the black hole. And it can be thinking about their kids or good friends and family who rally around them. Maybe learning to open up and talk instead of bottling everything up. Or seeing their doctor and getting onto antidepressants. So if you know someone struggling with the black dog, just ask them how are they going. And don't tell them to snap out of it. And don't jump straight in with solutions and advice. Just shut up for a while and listen and be there for them. And if the black dog has you by the throat at the moment, see your doctor. Look, medication doesn't always work, but man, when it does, it can be a lifesaver. Open up and talk with friends and family members you can trust. And remember, no matter how bad it gets, things do get better eventually. And above all, get your ass on a motorbike and head for the beach regularly. That's an order.